Thank you for taking the time to click on Law. We hope you enjoy the show. Don't forget to like and subscribe here and follow us on Twitch at www.twitch.tv slash slippery steve. And we're here live. How's it going, everybody? It's me, a Slipper Steve, host of Lore, bringing you the Final Horizon episode 2. I am joined by a mighty cast of awesome TTRPG players. Um, I will begin with introducing myself. I'm Slipper Steve, I do things like work and stuff, and I'm an aspiring voice actor. And um, that, that's I'm here to play uh, Oscar Pierre Pelletier. So I will hand it off to James. Yeah, I got more in me. Look, we need two um, takes. James, I do things, lots of different things, uh, way too many to mention here. Um, but uh, today uh, I'll be playing back to playing my old character, you know, Sentry Zerzo. Sentry you know, you can be driving to play, you know, driving the ship there, you know, making sure these other jaggers don't get blown out of airlocks and all that. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> all right. Uh, Sir Kevin. Uh, yeah, short and sweet. Um, my name is Kevin. I also do tons of things outside of here. Um, I will be playing Merlin, the computer tech today. Right down. And Sir Colby. You've all been deemed knights now, so <laughs> Sir everything. Had to happen eventually. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Colby. I am going to be playing Bird, the uh, quiet, somewhat... Uh, distracted ruffian of sorts <laughs> calmest ruffian i've ever met uh i do things and stuff outside of here um help help operate it uh, help operate a game store um do far too many nerdy things i really need to whittle the list down and actually get good at one of them <laughs> right on and sir rp davis Hello, my name is Bob. I am a game writer and stuff, and I publish on DMs Guild as RP Davis. I am also the chief cook and bottle washer of, uh, yeah, kaboutergames.com. And uh, yeah, you can find us also on uh, DriveThruRPG and itch.io with Kabouter Games. And yeah, I'll be your humble and uh, beneficent games master today Woo! all right we all need to learn to, from bob because i feel like uh as soon as i start with doing stuff it just rolls downhill for everybody <laughs> like, i also do stuff yes we all do stuff guys we all we all do stuff we do it's stuff. it's all just stuff <laughs> I, i'm doing my best i'll tell you what i do but then i have to kill you <laughs> Yeah, then I'd, have to, then I'd have to kill you. So I'm yeah. just boring. Like, yeah. do, do I want to tell you I sit in a room staring at a dude for eight hours for work? Like, yeah, uh, leaving that alone. Yeah, <laughs> All true. Uh, yeah, not going anywhere near it. Good night, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Good night. Um, Aren't y'all glad you showed up? <laughs> so, do you want to? Uh, Bob, you want to give them just like a rundown of what uh, the Final Horizon is, and then we'll kick ah, off yeah. with some special new content. Nice. The Final Horizon is a tabletop role-playing game that is based on and using Chaosium's basic role-playing rule set. It is a very easy-to-use and flexible rule set that lets you do virtually any genre you want to play. So rather than go with something um, that's bespoke for a sci-fi and fantasy setting, which is what we're playing, we're in space, we decided to use something simple and easy. And uh, really, they've got a nice free quick start guide, too, which is awesome. So, yeah, um, I'm sure um, Slippery Steve will drop a link to the basic role playing in the links to this video or in the show notes, or whatever. But yeah, we're in space. We're in a spaceship. And uh, do you want me to recap, or are you gonna, do you have your, your video for that, Chris? I already, I did run the, the previously on already. Ah, 
Okay. But um, we'll also run it on break too, so okay. anybody watching can catch up on things. But if you want to, a... yeah, yeah, let me do a quick verbal recap of what ha- where we ended up last time. Yeah, there was a prison break. The space station that you all were incarcerated on was attacked by what you're not quite sure but you made your way through the secure zones into the cargo hold where you got hold of a cargo ship after encountering some guards and easily dispatching them and uh, dealing with some technological issues you got across to the cargo bay got in your spaceship and right out of the cargo bay you zipped but you were followed by a couple of security guys in some fighter craft. And that's where we ended up. They are right behind you and gaining. All right. Uh, and with that being said, we'll uh, kick off the, the Final Horizon intro and go into the squad intro. And as soon as we come back from that, we will kick it right off into the thing. So we will see you guys in a few minutes. The final horizon, that's what humans called space. They'd explored their own, knew everything about it. Then they stopped looking down and started looking up. Their first toiling steps into space led to worlds close to them. They sent people to places like Earth's moon, Mars, Ganymede, Titan. They sent instruments into the void, searching for other places to explore. For years, the probes found nothing. Then long after Earth became a footnote in history's books referring to the war that turned it into radioactive slag, the probes found a node, which led to other nodes, which led to 1397 Pegasi. The final horizon is a lot bigger than we thought. An infinite number of worlds, a universe where humans aren't the only creatures that talk and think like and explore. This is the final horizon. Incoming transmission. Name's Bird. I've been dragged through war, did my time in the mines. Now, I got pulled into sending people to the same fate. So I decided to take my life back. No more giving it away. And yet, I'm serving time for all the mistakes that got made. And not nearly all of them are mine. Bonjour, it is I, the Magnificent of Scarpier Pelletier. You look at me like I am a Rostopacteur. No, this is all part of my fantastic plan. Does the Rostopacteur star in every film on the planet Magawan? No! I may have some, you say, weaknesses? The bogus struggle, making of the uh, gambling. <laughs> Perhaps I took it a little too far and got myself in trouble on 23. Ah, the Golden Hive has nothing on me. This is all part of my magnificent training as a galaxy's best actor. Au revoir. My name is Merlin, born on a planet that worshiped the virtual gods. I was a child of the orphanages, cast into military service. <laughs> I thought I knew how to hack, weaving and conducting lines of words in a computer screen, only to find that our gods are as shallow as our aspirations. Now, I am condemned for finding a new code to live by. This is your Captain Sentry Zerzo speaking. If you can all stop nubbing around and get your butts in your seats and strap in, we'll go ahead and get this show on the road because, you know, the folks that own the ship are going to notice any minute now that I'm up here trying to take it. So, um, let me see if I can get this arm first out of the way. Help me make the trip a whole lot easier for everyone, huh? Okay, uh, everybody strapped in. Good. Time to go. See you. Bye. And we're back. We're live. Wow. That was awesome. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Three viewers so far. Woohoo! Wee! 
All right, so we give you the recap. We gave you the, the brand new artwork by Melissa Kelt. And you can find her at Melissa Kelt on Twitter. Uh, and yes, so let's get it off with the beginning of see your episode two. <laughs> I'll stop talking. <laughs> So, yeah, you're rocketing away from the spaceship and uh, behind you through the observation holes, the observation portholes in the RMS Charlie Horse, you can see the explosions pop peppering, popping off all over around the space station. And you can also see behind you those two fighter type craft that uh, chased, that followed you very bit hot on your heels out of that cargo bay. Now, remind me who is where and doing what, please. Who's flying the ship? That would be Sentry. Okay. And Sentry is in the helm. Sentry in the house. In the house. Bird. I was you're... on at least one of the, the guns. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was the pulse oxidizer. You're on the WEPS. How about Merlin? Where's Merlin? Merlin is sitting at one of the workstations trying to gather info on A, the new crew, and uh, trying to figure out where we are and the closest system to get to. Right. You're on NAV and sensors. And Oscar. Oscar is looting through shit, trying to find whatever any booze or book of sugar or anything <laughs> you can find it's nice yep. okay so you're just rifling through shit yep just okay now uh bird behind you um you can see the uh, those two ships you start to see little twinkles of light coming from an area that's under the nose of them and merlin your uh, sensor sweep indicates that the uh, chaser, the chasing vessels, are firing chain guns at you. Hmm. Get ready to dodge. <laughs> duck, do dodge, we... dive, dodge. My immediate thought also is: Do we have any defense systems that I could get going? No. Make your um, doodly doo doo doodly doo doodly doo. You heard him. Roll your doodly doo. Yeah, roll your doodly doo. Damn it! What are you thinking? <laughs> yeah. I, roll <laughs> I roll a doo. I roll a doo. Your technology, um, whatever skill you're using, your technical skill that you're using for your quote-unquote hacking, give that a shot. All right, and remind me again uh, which die is that in BRP or which uh, combo? That that is a uh, percentile dice, so two d ten. Alrighty. One for tens, one for ones. And you're trying to roll under your skill rating. Oh boy. Oh boy, that might not be good. Oof. I actually roll a 10? That's good. Because, oh, it, well, that's way good, actually. Yeah, that's super good. Yeah, you find a system, it takes you a little bit to suss through the, the menus because there are many nested menus in this. Um, and it, but you do find the menu system that gives you access to the shielding, and you can switch it from, usually it's used forward of the ship to stop things like space dust and stuff when you're traveling at speed, but you can rejigger it, maneuver it around so that it can protect you, it can protect you from fire coming from the rear. And yeah, you manage to uh, swing that around, and you can see, Bird, you can see it, the slugs, twinkling off of the force shield that Merlin has swing, swung about. Very good, very good. And, okay, so what do you guys want to do? How do you want to, do you want to fight them? Do you want to get away? What, do you, give me a plan, team. Um, are we fighting or are we running? No, uh, I'm going to be blasting either way. I just want to know what our <laughs> goals are here. I say we try to get away. Hey, y'all covered a six. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll take some, uh, some of them, um, uh, you know, evasive actions. 
Nice. Is that how they pronounce that in on planet Pittsburgh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> New Duquesne, I think we should call it. God. Ah, damn the gods. Is there no ah. bigger sugar or any type of alcohol at all in this thing? Do these guys not drink? Do they not engage in good times? Ah, they're, generally they're is a, not on the job, no. There is a jump node not far away. That's the reason the station is here in the first place. Because the ships travel through a network of nodes... There are paths in between each node for faster than light travel. So you can hyper jump from node to node. Um, but yeah, it's going to require a, uh, it's going to require some plotting and planning through the navigation computer, which is going to take some time and some skill checks from Merlin. And uh, then it's, it's also going to require everyone to strap into a crash couch before you actually hit the node or else bad things happen in between nodes along the hyperlight jump. Acceleration can be a real bitch. Mm -hmm. right. um, the crash couches, I'm guessing, are, are not like the blaster seat that I'm in. No. The only one who's in a crash couch right now is um, Cersei. Sentry, sorry. Um, so, quick question. Um, would we know... Or would any of us know off the top of our heads if using one of these nodes, like, if our destination is trackable, or if there's any way to, like, disguise that? Like, you. would people, like, would someone be able to go to the node and be like, oh, they went here? Many, but most nodes have multiple destinations. Okay. It's not like you can go from one node to any other node. Sometimes you have to go like you you, you have to go. <laughs> if think think of it like an, uh, an interstate highway, right? If you got to hit the right exit. Yeah, if you're if you're on I eighty three, you know, heading north from York, you can take exits all over the place, right? Or then you could hit a, you could hit another node junction like the I eighty one interchange off of eighty three or Pennsylvania Turnpike, that kind of thing. And for those of you who don't live in Pennsylvania, sorry, you're just screwed. <laughs> We're all Pennsylvanians. Uh, yeah, I just wasn't sure if, like, the note itself had, like, information on that, like, if it tracked or if, like, I, I guess I just didn't know how that would function. Like, usually what happens is you, if you're going to make a jump, because you're supposed to pay for it, <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> You, you sign in at the station that controls that node, like the yeah. one you just escaped from. And then you, you wait in line with the rest of the jumpers and you plot your navy comp. And sometimes people will convoy through. And because it's so expensive to jump from node to node that um, it's you, you, like a ship the size of yours might actually end up in the hold of a really large cargo hauler. Oh, that's but, just as bad as our turnpike. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But, uh, or like getting, putting your car on the channel tunnel to get uh, on the train to get from the UK to France or vice versa. Ooh, gotcha. Um, but yeah, that you, you, usually you have to register with the, the space station and then you will put your flight plan into the system. Gotcha. But since you're about to make an unauthorized jump, you don't have to worry about any of that, that kind of tracking. Gotcha. Uh, Pierre right. starts looking around and cl cl kind of climbs his way up to the the front uh, and grabs grabs the shoulder of a uh, sentry and just kind of pats him on the shoulder. Yeah, is a yuhu. Um, uh, is there any uh, indication of where we are going? Giving him that whole like the hell over the shoulder <laughs> kind of thing <laughs> and going like this. Well, I'm gonna let you know you're just gonna be going all the way to the back of this ship. You're gonna get yourself strapped into a couch real quick there, Frenchie. It's okay, how rude. <laughs> and as I turn back and walk the other way, as, as I pass uh, Merlin, I say, uh, Tell him to look for the easy pass lane <laughs> and sit down. Nice. Um, Merlin yeah, continues to work on the workstation, pretend that did not happen. 
might as well get it. <laughs> might as well get a ticket sent to this place. They deserve it. Merlin, They're... are you looking up possible destinations? I am. Okay. Right. The um. there are a couple of options that are within one jump. There is uh, the. There is where the hell I just had it here. Salmora KL one is the very next system around. Salmora hmm. KL one. Salmora. Yeah. All right. <sighs> and the other is Akiri. That's a, that's a in the same general vicinity of the the sector as Salmora. Akiri spelled O C U R Y if you're taking notes. O C U R Y. Okay. Totally off there. Neither of them is very heavily inhabited. Is it much further, like the distance between Salmora and Akiri, or no, they're relatively they're, they're, close? They're relatively close. Yeah, it's okay. basically the next node over. So it's a quick jump. You Do could stay. We... You could stay on the stream if you want and go from node to node to node to node to node, but that's that 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 needs a, a little more intricate um, test of your technology technology skill to make sure you get the navi navi computer program properly. I say we try to go from node to node as fast as we can. Maybe go to sell more and try to hop over to Akiri's as quickly as we can. Yeah, that'll be two checks, but relatively easy. Okay, I can definitely do that. Uh, two technical skill checks? Correct. All right, let's go for our first one. Got a 30. And what is your skill rating in technical skill? 75. Oh, yeah. Technically... And yeah, a sixty. Yeah. So both both you're you're confident that you got everything programmed into the navigation computer correctly, and you are nearing the node. Unfortunately, in order to uh, devote give give the 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 navi yeah Jesus I can't speak worth a damn today sorry, in order to give the navi comp enough power to to uh, calculate the jump you're gonna have to transfer power away from the aft shield. Um. Ooh. I was gonna say on that point, uh, I I have been sort of laying evasive uh, fire, so you know, trying to not hit the ships, but like maybe clip a wing, but just getting them to have to focus on dodging my shots instead of firing at us. Give me a heavy weapons check. All right, eighteen. I have uh, forty nine. Oh yeah, yeah, that is a success. Yeah, you you don't <laughs> you man it. Had you failed, you might actually have blown one up. <laughs> but since you're aiming around them, trying to dissuade them, yeah, you drop enough fire um, with that that gun of yours around them that they they start taking evasive action and they are no longer firing at you. Very good. Look, I don't know how long this is going to keep them distracted. We better hurry the hell up. Um, let's see. Sentry is uh, going to try to essentially draft another ship into the into the jump gate. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. There's one of those large trash haulers I was telling you about earlier. One yeah. of those about to enter the gate. So I'm going to do like the whole like, okay, hang on, guys, everybody, can strap in because I'm heading for the gate. Yeah, strapping in being the important thing. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Otherwise, Come on, barrel roll. I will, Otherwise, uh, I'll need somebody to go down there and see when you find some scrapers and get these guys off the hall later. Yeah. I was As we approach, I, uh, I I lay off the guns and I hop over and strap myself in when we're close enough. Okay. Yep. I. Yep. Oscar does the same. And, hopefully, uh, he, hopefully, he... as we get close <laughs> enough, the uh, the fighters will stop firing into civilian vessels. Yeah, that from, from, as you leave your, your weapon station, Bird, you can see that the fighters are peeling off because you're very close now to the other civilian vessels. 
You yeah. also yeah. See, you also see a five foot French man strap himself awkwardly right up next to you. There's the couch is big, <laughs> and he straps in right next to you. Nice. There are couches. I I I, I messed up earlier. I forgot that there's a couch for Merlin and a couch for Sentry. The the uh, the crash couches in the cockpit. The the seats are designed to be crash couches. Oh, cool. Bird, Bird and Oscar, you're going to have to uh, strap yourself in in the passenger section. Gotcha. Okie doke. Uh, now, have any of your characters made a star jump before? Um, I assume that this uh, prison, the prison on this station, is not in the same system that my that my home plants on. Better. Let me rephrase the question. Have you ever had to strap yourselves in to strap yourselves in for a oh, jump before? I imagine. No. I imagine I would have. Okay. Merlin um, has. He uh he's kind of had the helm on navigational controls before. Yeah, and I'm and Sentry certainly has. Oscar, that's I, a question mark. A big <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. So Oscar, I'm gonna have to ask you to make a medicine check. Okay, okay. Medicine. There is an art there is a, a, a weak AI on the crash couch, so you can make an easy medicine check, which means your whatever skill rating you have in medicine, you can double it. I uh, yeah, I don't have anything in that. Uh so a seventy one. Yeah, you're not real. Um, Merlin, you you uh, see a, a red flashing light on your screen. Oh, boy. And you are... Strap for any neck. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason it's medicine is because the thing pumps you full of uh, adrenaline and other chemicals. Oh, yeah. you're <laughs> high as fuck. <laughs> Now this is what well, I'm no. talking about. <laughs> Fucking hey! hey! So yeah, um, Mer Merlin, you can see there's a, there's an alarm there that Oscar is not properly installed. Okay, um, I'm assuming that there's there's some ability for me to physically go over to him at this yes. point. Yes, yeah, he's only okay. a few meters away from you, but you are <laughs> you you don't have a whole lot of time. Okay. I quickly run over to Oscar and try to help him get strapped in. No, 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 this okay. is fine. This is the best I felt ever. <laughs> yes, I'm good, I'm good. Since you, since you know what you're doing, you get him strapped in and get him get the, 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 the chemicals pumping through him. But to make it back, I need you to make an agility roll. Ooh. Um, what is that here? What would that be under the uh, character on sheet? Your, on your character sheet, it's under characteristics and roles. It should be up toward the top. Like next to your uh, identity block, up by your hit points and all that. Where your, where, where your strength ah, con... Is. Next to your yeah. dex. Yeah, next to dex. Sorry. Oh, good. Okay. I rolled a 50... My agility roll is 50. Okay. Oh, boy. Well, because I like to do fail forward, technically, technically. meeting the skill is not sufficient. But you Ooh. get back to your couch just as Sentry gets into the lee of this massive trash hauler that is about to make the jump. Sentry. Yes. Make your pilot check. Uh, and... 45. I have a 75. Okay, yeah, you you Sentry Sentry deftly nudges the ship into the wake of the ion wake of the trash hauler, which is, you know, shorthand for a cargo ship. And um, just as you get strapped in, and the the needle goes the needles go into your neck to to shoot you full of the requisite drugs merlin everything goes the, the others are out the others are just zonked cuz the computer is in control right now but just before you 
go unconscious from the flood of jump chemicals coursing through your system, you see the most wonderful sight you have ever seen in your life. And you wonder why people don't stay conscious for this because the stars, they change colors. You can see every part of the spectrum of the rainbow as the stars swirl into like this massive nebula but then you, toward, just before you lose consciousness, you realize that there's something out there watching the space between the stars. Oh, wow. Uh, first thing I'm thinking is these are, these are some really good meds. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess there's not much I can do other than kind of basking what I'm seeing. Yeah, pretty much, because it's it, and then then you know, after you sense this this um, malevolent presence, everything goes dark. There is some time, and then you wake up. Um, do, 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 do. Century and Merlin. Everybody, I'm sorry. Everybody, make for me stamina rolls. Stamina. 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 Good to go. I'm good. I met 35. Okay. Oscar, you've got a banging headache. Everybody else is <laughs> yeah. fine. He got a double oh, dose. Uh, this reminds me of my first hangover. Sentry and Merlin, your both of your consoles are just alive with warning lights. Mostly proximity sensors. Mm. Uh, I'm going to very quickly throttle back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Make, yeah, and I don't care where. Just <laughs> on on the uh, on through the uh, cockpit window that's just ahead, that's right in front of your face, Sentry. There, that remember that big cargo ship? Yeah. It ain't moving as fast as you. Nice. So you're throttling back. Make a pilot check. Matter of fact, make a hard pilot check. Fine. <laughs> now what is a hard I was going to say what is a hard check a hard that check under is half? half your yeah under half okay. your your skill percentage and an easy check is twice your skill percentage very good Ooh. it's it's a payday on Friday around oh, 530 half right half after your bank day. closes so you can't cash it yo everybody's got to be a comedian <laughs> what you got century <laughs> okay so half of my piloting would be a 36. I rolled a 33. Nice. You very, very narrowly miss the back end of the cargo ship. We scraped paint. Very close. It's kind of a, ah, and, you know, you know we're all going to die sort of thing. Oh, that's not going to buff out. <laughs> but, <laughs> just, just leave a note on the windshield. Yeah. Put, just put a fake phone number down and tell the guy, you know, our church will handle it. Yeah, the radio is rather squawking at you right now. <laughs> the com the comm systems are as lit up as the rest of the uh, the rest of the the ship systems. And another thing you notice, Sentry, is that the controls are quite sluggish. We'll fix that. Like something got knocked loose. So every check until you fix this is going to be a hard check for your pilot Ooh. skill. Lovely. Sentry, I'll uh, I'll look through some of the systems here, see if I can get something back up and running. But yeah, at least, yeah, at least we're all still alive-ish. <laughs> um, are you going to respond to the communications requests coming from the other ship? I will. Sure. I will take over that if I can. Sure. I hear the the comms coming. Yeah, coming out of the uh, coming out of the com uh, unknown unknown ship unknown ship. This is the this is the cargo vessel Negraria. 
What were you doing jumping so close to us? Are you insane? Uh, oh my god, turn that down. It's making my head pound. <laughs> the sanity of the crew may or may not be determined yet. I'll clue you in later. But uh, we apologize for any difficulties. Um, it's a bit of an emergency situation. Yeah, I bet. I hope you're not gonna. I hope you don't expect us to pay for that. Not even. Not even. No. Nope. This is this is on us. You're you are good to go. We, this is our fault. We will take care of it. Well, good. Send over your send over your information. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, where did I put that? Uh, and I'm gonna sort of mute for a second and call over to. Uh, to Merlin and just be like, can you rig something up real quick? Because these guys are, they're looking for something. We're going to, we're going to need, uh, um, yeah, we're going to need some false trail to give them. Honestly, actually, we could probably just give them the information from this ship and then heft it off onto the station. Cause I think that'd be hilarious as shit. Yeah, I can get that rigged up for you. They look pretty banged up to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Just get them taken for everything they're worth. I like it. Um, what, uh, for this, would I would I be rolling like a fast talk? Um, yeah, yeah, fast talk. That would be. That would work. Eight. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, I've got thirty-five in fast talk, so. Yeah, eight, eight yeah. is a six. Eight is a success. Yep, <laughs> eight <Right>. is enough. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, huh? huh? <laughs> so yeah, uh, as as Merlin <laughs> forwards the uh, the info to me, I I call it over and just be like, um, would I know who was in control of that station? Like, would, be it like an organization or military or a company or what? That's a good question. That it, is a very good question. It's yes, a trash you would ship, know. Right? Oh no, the well, station you stole the the ship from? Yeah, that. Oh. oh no, that yeah, that that is a yeah, because you you wouldn't know who's in charge of the uh, who's captaining that ship, that's for sure. Um no, the 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 station is in the control of the the sphere shard. Okay. And uh, basically, they are the localized government in that sector. Gotcha. Uh, You're so not yeah. sure how far their reach extends. You Most of the factions they're... around the around the galaxy do have agents, but you're not sure. It, some of them are more powerful than others. Can Merlin gotcha. possibly find some of this uh, out of the workstation? Would this ship have any records, any databases of systems nearby? Yeah. Okay. Uh, See, so yeah, I'm going to, when I send the information over, I'm just going to let them know. Get, okay. your, get your ship fixed up nice. It's all on the dime of the sphere. Okay, buddy. Thanks. And hey, fly more carefully next time, will ya? I'll, I'll slap the pilot upside the head. He's not... Uh, not the best, right? And I look over and I wink at uh, Sentry. <laughs> right. Safe travels. <laughs> out. Safe travels. Click. Right. So, yeah, there you are. There is, uh, there is a station that is in a geosynchronous orbit around a largish moon that uh, is in orbit. Where did you say you guys were going? Salmora or Akiri? Uh, I actually said I was going to quickly jump nodes from one oh, to the yeah. other. So we were going to go okay. Salmora, then Akiri. Okay, so yeah, this is Salmora. Um, the, the moon's name is KL1. The planet is, Sil is Salmora. Um, but yeah, the, there, is a, there is rather a line for the jump to Akiri. And gotcha. it, in order to do this legit, you're going to have to uh, dock at that space station and file that flight plan. 
Um, and I'm plus, gonna... this is also very important. Um, navigating the jumps requires an up to the up to date star chart database because the more you jump without updating your database, the more degraded the accuracy of that database gets. And the more likely you are to accidentally end up fused with smear a your, sun. Smear yeah. yourself across space time. Yeah. yeah. Is there a way to get a link upload when we dock? Yeah. It, 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 once you've filed your flight plan, like where you want to go and paid the appropriate fee, it automatically uploads. Oh, good. Okay. Um, so, uh, Merlin, are you sharing any of this information with us, like the plans? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. All right. So, as far as I see, we got a few options, and none of them are really all that great. <laughs> if we if we stay where we are, we are going to get found out. We uh, we just escaped prison, blew up a fighter. Fired upon sphere uh, security forces, made an Ill illicit jump. We're fucked. <laughs> I uh, can only I can only scramble us for so long. Yeah, and uh, I don't know about y'all, but my pockets are pretty light. They didn't le let me keep a whole lot of credits, you know, going into prison. <laughs> Like they do, like you do. So the, I think the, we, the ship we may itself be in has a... an account. Okay. So you know whoever they took the Charlie horse from, if they haven't frozen that account, you may be able to access it. I that immediately takes... try to find that account. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay um, give me your uh, the, your your uh, technical skill. I rolled a 30, so I am good. Okay, yeah, you they have not yet frozen the account, but there is a tracer on it. Oh. Which means that any kind of transaction that that account is involved with will send a flag to the sphere shard. Can I try to encrypt that? Sure, that'll be a hard technical skill check. Ooh. Hard has got to be half, correct, or less? That is correct. I rolled a 10. Jesus, oh, you guys are on fire. Snap. Yeah, you've, uh, you threw a couple of lines of code in there that uh, confused the Sphere Shards tracking bot. Maybe that'll throw them off our scent, too. Get them uh, hopping off to the wrong sector. We should probably drain that account as much as we can so that we don't have... <laughs> I'm just saying, just so that we don't have to fiddle about with trying to encrypt it every time we pull money out. I'm not judging. It's your plan. <laughs> We're making Oscar the financial officer. <laughs> oh, I guess I guess I should ask, is this like a private account? Like is this like some like some dude or some company, or is this like linked to the no, the, the, the Charlie Horse is a. Uh, uh, I get it's like an LLC. Okay. So the ship carries its own account. That you know, that's how you replenish fuel. That's how you replenish you know supplies. That sort of thing. Gotcha. Speaking, so speaking of which, you're uh, you're down one fuel. You have five fuel, and you've just used one to make this jump. So we're down to four. Yeah. So we should be good for a while. Um, what is the, I guess, uh, looking over the accounts, what is the total like credits that we would have access to if we like drain this? Roll 5d10. Uh, who wants to do this? Unless we each want to roll one. Yeah, that's better. Each of you roll one. Okay. All right. Big money no whammy. So we've got a five, five. We have a ten. We have a seven. Uh, that's twenty. Eight. Eight, eight, not seven. No, eight. I can't count. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, Kevin, Kevin rolled a ten as well. 
There is no well, zero. Yeah, there is no zero <laughs> on a D10. Techni yeah. so, and technically, 33. let's see, that's uh, Sentry's 14 because he put up two hands. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now, that's 33. You have 33,000 credits. And that's okay. a good bit, I'm guessing. Not really. Oh, so <laughs> it sounds good. Okay, so that, that's enough. That's enough to last us a little while. Uh, enough to yeah. get the get the ship somewhere. Maybe get it repaired while we're here at the station. Uh, Is there an exchange uh, rate on these systems? Is this more no. valuable somewhere else? Nope. Dang nope. it! A, cre a credit is a credit is a credit across the known universe. Gotcha. Um, how much how much does a jump generally cost? Um, uh, one unit of fuel is mm -hmm. going to cost you ten thousand. Okay. Oh wow. Um, one, you know, refit and replenishment, like things like water, food for the crew, that sort of thing. You can probably uh, water's the big problem um, because you know it's heavy. Yeah, it's space, and if you're not going to make an atmospheric entry and basically just steal it, <laughs> you're buying it from the Chandler's dockside in the space stations, and they get it either bringing it up from the surface, which is really expensive or from uh, asteroid ice mines, which is not quite as expensive, but... More dangerous. Not really more dangerous. It's, you know, there, there can't possibly be anything alive in it, but um, there's that a certain amount... Of. There's a certain amount of social stigma to drinking space water. Most people prefer to drink a planet-side water, and some people pretend that they can tell the difference just by the taste and bouquet. Uh, uppity motherfuckers. Um, but yeah, the uh, you're all neat. You need to see in the plastic bottles. They need to just better. So, like, if you're gonna make a, if you're gonna make a bunch of jumps, like you're gonna run out all your fuel, right? Um, uh, one unit of fuel is ten grand, but one, like, uh, ten days worth of water, food, etc., is only like five hundred. What what do the supplies look like on the ship? Yeah, uh, protein in every shape and size and flavor and color. Okay. Processed protein. Gotcha. Most of it in little squeezy tubes. Gotcha. So we're gonna get swole. Uh... Fresh food <laughs> is fresh food. Most people prefer fresh food, and there are there is a facility in the galley on the ship to store fresh food, but not for terribly long. And fresh food can be prodigiously expensive. You, but many many small ships like this that you know make that land planet side will trade for fresh food. Gotcha. Well, it's MREs for as long as we're going. Yep. That's <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, no water though, or very well, got, little water. You have water, mm -hmm. but only enough for a couple of days. I mean, gotcha. you could you could you could stretch it if none of you bathed. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. But handy um, wipes only go so far. Yep. Um, so I guess our first, uh, I, I'd say our first goal is to just dock with the station um, and make a plan. Like, where the hell are we going? What the fuck are we doing? Sentry and Merlin. Uh, every, everybody make luck rolls. Or idea rolls, whichever is better for you. Okay. Is a zero uh, zero considered a hundred or a zero? It is. Right, um, so it is one hundred. Uh, I rolled a hundred and one somehow. Oh, 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 oh that's no. no, that's one. That's if, one. I rolled one. On the the oh. double digit, okay. the double digit die zeros are like, you know, zero and a number so that's your single digits yeah if you roll all three zeros so double zero right. and then a zero on the other die that's 100. oh okay. yeah oh, we so yeah you rolled you rolled one. like a super crit yeah like <laughs> <laughs> like you what else do we got hey lonzy uh, i rolled I a 90. A... yeah you don't know nothing i i got a 41 out of 80. okay 85 about actually, sorry. century got a 19 out of 8. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, 
those of you who didn't crit remember that when you go to log in at the station they're going to ask for things like who's the captain what's the cargo and uh the the cargo you can figure out by looking in the cargo hold but the captain is none of you that that won't be in the database and um Oscar, you figure out you're you're kind of flipping through a data pad that is attached to your crash couch, and up pops a picture of the captain of the RMS Charlie Horse, who looks remarkably like you. Is it just so you, guys? You, know, you know you're either going to have to fuck with the database. <laughs> <laughs> on the Charlie horse, or try to bluff your way through. Okay. Uh, let's check these guys out. Uh, I found a pop up book. Look, so when I open it, and it pops up. I hold it. Yeah, this looks like me, hollow. no? Yeah. It's a 3D hologram of, of the captain's head and without a mustache. It's basically Oscar, but without facial hair. I am not getting rid of my magnificent mustache. Uh, that's pretty easy to pass on. Magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> I um yeah, I will with a huge headache, I will say uh as it look like it's, um I think I could possibly pull this off and make them think that I am this guy here who is the captain. What do you think? And I show it to Merlin and Bird, who are the closest, because I believe Sentry's up front piloting still. Or are we docked? It's, no, you're not docked yet. Okay. The, the, the compartment you're all in is only about five meters across. It's not like there's a whole lot of privacy on a ship this small. Hmm. That is surprisingly convenient. I guess our options are either you pretend to be this fella or uh, Merlin. I look Would just you... like him. Look, I can't. The stupid <laughs> green screen. <laughs> it's a cat. No, you look like the cat. That's that's what we're See? going with. Yeah, it is I. I can be him. <laughs> the um, there is, image. Uh, there is one small, small catch. Mm -hmm. The captain's name is Rupert Kirschbecher. Oh, God. <laughs> How do you even... Kirschbecher? Kirschbecher? Kirschbecher. Yeah, K-I-R-S-C-H-W-E-G-E-R. Ah, okay. All right. Um... He, he, he lists it, it yeah, the, uh, the, the accent is not going to be like yours. It's okay. I, um... Well, I, uh, You know, I uh, did a lot of films, and, uh... I was, uh... Ooh, it's, it's coming back to me already. <laughs> maybe, maybe... Maybe... Maybe he was from the Alsace-Lorraine. Yeah! This, um... This. I, I know, uh... This looks like a, a um... A, a German accent, possibly. I could. Uh, there is no problem here. I could totally pull this off. And I hope, hope you drop some points in fast talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, all you gotta do is just add a lot of <laughs> <your> words. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And so when the... you talk, make sure you're scared of a Jesus out of them. I will. <laughs> I will toss the book at Merlin. So whatever and uh start looking for any kind of outfit that would resemble this guy like see if we have anything through the car there are that... there are quarters mm -hmm. slightly aft of the the common area cockpit lo uh, location i will try and find a ship map okay. that we can use we can have for reference let me make a note of that cool, cool. um do 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 do. Find ship map. I'm a, I put many A's in that. Um, Some uppercase. Yeah. 
<laughs> there are uh, there are crew quarters. The captain's quarters are right behind the bridge. So like, uh, there's a passageway heading aft from the bridge, and uh, yeah, the first one, the first door says "Captain" on it. Really? There are other there are other cabins farther back. I think I found the door that I am looking for. I'll open it up. Oh yeah. It's a uh, rather Spartan accommodation. There's not a lot of room for luxury on this ship, but at least you're not you don't have a bunk mate. Mm-hmm. So there's a small a narrow bunk set into the bulkhead right behind the uh, the the on the uh, yeah, set into the bulkhead that is up against the bridge. And above it and below it are storage you know, drawers and lockers. There is a small desk with a chair bolted to the floor. And uh, there are, you know, on the opposite side, on the opposite wall from the bunk, and a little flip-out toilet sink combo thing for washing up, and uh, lockers and stuff all, all around the walls. Okay. What are you looking for exactly? I'm looking for an outfit that would be accommodate that would accommodate something to match this. Uh, this ah, yeah. Rupert. yeah. And he is a captain, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so, that's what I'm looking for. Something, something like that. Anything yeah, that would sure. pass. You are rifling through. You know, you and you rifle through the drawers and stuff. You see, there's. There's a picture on the desk of a woman and a child, but there's no other, maybe a wife and kid, who knows? Hmm. Um, but rifling through the lockers, you find some clothing that has rank insignia and the name tag on it. The trouble is, you're, f- what, five foot zero, Oscar? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah uh, R- Rupert was probably six two. Okay. So the sleeves are too long. The trousers are too long. Yeah, trying on the uh, clothing, you look like, you know, <laughs> Chris, literally, if your son was to dress up in your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Just just like that. Just a little macadoodle in daddy's clothes. Yep. <laughs> Excuse yep. me. Okay. Uh, you hear, you guys hear from the captain's chambers... I need a seamstress! <laughs> you uh, can try to alter the stuff. Yeah. There's, there's, you know, there's all kinds of different uh, machinery on here that can... I, I, I stick my head out. Hey, Merlin, I need you to uh, glitch this stuff or hack it or do something to make a change to fit me. Uh, Oscar, I don't quite think it works that way with clothes. There must be some kind of code you can put in the ship or something to make this change, yes? I look over to Bird. Hey, do you want to get in on this? Because uh, I, I don't know what to tell this guy. Uh, I, I'll do what I can. I've done enough field alterations. Um, yeah, I'm just going to like take out... Uh, gonna tr- like I don't know, grab a kitchen knife or something, a utility knife, and, and start like hacking at the sleeves and and the the pants and whatnot and oh, just like gentle, gentle, and, gentle, and just like gentle. cuffing cuffing them up real quick and like it occurs to you like, that just rolling the sleeves up will be yeah. sufficient but the trousers are definitely going to need a hem yeah okay. uh so yeah just doing that with everything like rolling sleeves and uh and cutting off the trousers at the bottom and trying to tuck them so that they look clean enough safe like safety pin it on the inside just <laughs> something to duct tape just, yeah just just something to make it look passable like duct tape it on the inside so it's got a clean cuff and do you have the disguise skill i do oscar does um, okay yeah. i'll assist i, I was then. gonna say yeah i i guess i'll be doing the assisting sure yeah you're I'm... like telling you're telling me what to do and i'm just like okay like making it work so put yeah, the needle make... in there and then put the duct tape up there. But make sure you roll it around two, three times before, and then make sure you put one vertical up on the sides. Make your disguise roll. Okay. These are 
surprisingly clear instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I understanding this man? Merlin is definitely thinking we are doomed as he watches Bird fiddle around with Oscar. Okay, disguise is a uh, 20, and I rolled a 41. Right, yeah, the... It... Ooh. So his it's instructions, not looking great. His instructions were clear. My skills were not. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not looking great. It's no. not looking great. Um yeah, rolling rolling up the sleeves to the elbow make it, makes him look a, a little more business like, but the stuff clearly is made for a man that is significantly larger than Oscar. So hopefully, Oscar will be able to roll off the roll uh, well with the fast talk. <laughs> Speaking of which, the station is looming. Uh oh, it's looming. Um, so do you plan if if you plan to dock sentry you're going to need a uh, pilot check for me. It's still looming. It's looming. It's looming. There's it's an emergency looming. going on. <laughs> emergency. Still going on. 31 going on. Eight. Yep. Uh yeah, okay. You, you, there's a It's mostly automated. You get an assignment from the station what docking bay you're supposed to go in. But yeah, something with the gearbox in this thing, you you manage to hit the uh, you get the right the, the right dock and you manage not to you know slam into the side of the space station as you land. Time to dock. <laughs> <laughs> Where's reversing this fucking thing? Was it a Volkswagen? Um. <laughs> yeah, keep practicing. Um. This seems to me, I know you didn't want to take a break yet, Chris, but this is a nice beat point to take a break, I think, before we all before you all disgorge out of the ship and into the space station. Do you want to do that or do you want to yeah, you get yeah, a little absolutely. bit into the station? Um we're only seven minutes away from when we would break anyway, so ah, yeah, why yeah, don't we do right. it? That sounds okay. good. So sounds good. uh so then everybody over to you. that's watching uh, we're gonna do a ten-minute break. Might be a, we might be back a little bit earlier, um, so we will see you guys in five to ten minutes. And what am I doing? Incoming transmission. Name's Bird. I've been dragged through war, did my time in the mines, and hell, I got pulled into sending people to the same fate. So I decided to take my life back, no more giving it away. And yet, I'm serving time for all the mistakes that got made, and not nearly all of them are mine. Bonjour, it is I, the Magnificent of Scare Pierre Pelletier. You look at me like I am a washed up actor. No, this is all part of my fantastic plan. Does the washed up actor star in every film on the planet Magawan? No, I may have some, you say, weaknesses. The bogus struggle, making love, uh, gambling. <laughs> Perhaps I took it a little too far and got myself in trouble on Tony Tree. Ah, the Golden Hive has nothing on me. This is all part of my magnificent training as a galaxy's best actor. Au revoir. My name is Merlin, born on a planet that worshipped the virtual gods. I was a child of the orphanages, cast into military service. <laughs> I thought I knew how to hack, weaving and conducting lines of words in a computer screen only to find that our gods are as shallow as our aspirations. Now, I am condemned for finding a new code to live by. This is your Captain Sentry series. I was speaking. If you can all stop nevin around and get your butts in your seats and strap in, we'll go ahead and get this show on the road because, you know, the folks that own the ship are going to notice any minute now that I'm up here trying to take it. So, um... Let me see if I can get this arm to turn off 
first out of trouble. Help makes me think the trip a whole lot easier for everyone, huh? Okay, uh, everybody strapped in. Good, time to go. See you, bye. And we are back. Thanks for sticking around, guys. We have returned to So we've landed thanks to Sentry's awesome piloting skills in the space station that is circling around Selmara KL1. Selmora KL1. And, uh, yep. Yeah, once you get inside... Landing gears down. The uh, staircase is deployed from the cargo hold. There are people everywhere, just inside the uh, just inside the the, the large cargo dip, cargo bay blast doors. It is remarkably similar in layout to the space station y'all just escaped from. So there is a promenade. You've landed on the the station itself. It kind of it, it's kind of like a pen, right? So a big, wide, fat pen with a donut around it, right? So I, I, don't, have, I don't have a prop to show you. <laughs> but uh, the, the long, spindly bit is, the, uh, is where all of the engineering stuff happens. And the pointy end of the pen always points toward the moon that is KL-1 orbiting Selmo the planet Selmora. But all of the cargo bay door, all the cargo bays, all of the docking ports, all of that stuff is in the annulus that surrounds, that's kind of stuck on the top of the pen. So, yeah, you've landed in one of those docking ports, and there is a promenade that is chock full of people. Hmm. Just outside the cargo, these uh, the landing bay doors. Uh, well, guys, uh, what is the uh, plan here? I can be captain. The comlink system bongs at you. The, the comlink system bongs at you. RMS Charlie Horse, Captain, please report to Docking Bay Ops. RMS Charlie Horse, Captain, please report to Docking Bay Ops. Wait, well, that is me? Yes? I... Does that mean I push a button and talk to somebody? Or is that, do I have to get off the ship and uh, do this presentation? Um, would would I know what the procedure is there? Like, I think the you gotta get off the ship. Gotta go and and you gotta... Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, but like... That, yes, that is the procedure. The, the, a physical person has to go to docking bay ops. Okay. Uh, specifically, is it like, is it something that just the captain would do or would like, would potentially someone join them usually? Captain. Captain. Captain only. Skipper's okay. job. I'd just All right. uh, s slap him on the back and just Not be necessarily like, only. Yeah. But, you I mean, you can, you can take crew with you? It's just, you know, they they need to talk to the captain. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will... You're up. Yep. <coughs> I, what, um, which one of these buttons is uh, the door open? Um, before before he leaves... Um, wow. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to real quick just uh, try to get everyone together and be like, okay, what, what the hell's the plan? Where are we going? Like... Uh, I know they had asked what cargo we're carrying, things like that. Like, just run down so that Oscar has an idea of what to say. Yeah, good idea. Well, uh, last time I looked, I mean, somebody I remember seeing something about there's some uh, there's some nickel ore on board. Why don't we try to find a place to get that off of here and maybe get a few more credits? You know, this feels a good thing. So we're unloading some nickel. Yeah. And fueling up and heading to Akiri or 
Oh, we also need to do some repairs while we're here, but I'll see what I can do. Okay. okay. Yeah. Good luck. Maybe off that nickel, we'll have enough to get the thing running more than the rust bucket. Okay. And that's it, right? Just unloading nickel and docking for repairs. And then heading to Akira. And heading. Akira. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, is it, do I have a little hat? No, there is no hat. No hat? Okay. I will tip my imaginary hat. <laughs> uh, somebody let me out of the ship. I do not have no blood. I do not have the knowledge. The, the, the ramp is the ramp is down. Oh, the ramp is down. I will exit the stage yeah. right. And I... Take will... Austin by the shoulders. <laughs> turn him. Oh. Right there, Jago. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Allons-y. I will walk down and approach whoever is uh, first in there, the is, there, there, In the wall next to the blast doors that lead into the promenade, there is a window. And behind the window, the thick plexiglass screen is a man mm -hmm. who looks up at you as you approach. Is he looking up, though? <laughs> you are rather short, but he's seated. So, yeah, he is kind of looking up at you. Okay. He stands up and looks down below the counter. Oh, there you are. I, uh... You must be from the new ship. What you got? Where are you going? Da? I... We got the... Ah. It, and excuse me, I am <clears throat> so throat. I, I did, we are talking, <laughs> unloading our nickel, um, here to dock for repairs, and heading to the apiary. All right. Who's your buyer for your cargo? He pulls up a clipboard. Mm. The buyer. Uh, it is... Uh, you haven't got one yet? Uh, no, we do not have buyer. Um, we are un here to unload. Okay, you'll get... Check with check with the station, check with the uh, station engineering on deck seven B. They might be able to connect you with a buyer. The docking fee is two hundred fifty credits. Do you need fuel or refurbishment? Uh, was ist das? Do you need gas? Da. Fucking belters. Yes. Oh, okay. very yes, well. <laughs> yes. A little slot opens mm -hmm. um, at the bottom of the window, and a uh, a, a touchpad, come a data pad, comes sliding through, and he points at it and goes, "Sign here, thumbprint." Shit. Uh my thumb is broken, and um, can't use thumb. Do you have, do you have pen? Do you have, wiggle, there wiggle have, your there, sign using your finger. They're coolie. Just, they're coolie. The thing in the, sir, sir. Yeah? Use your finger, sign in the box. Ah, okay. I. Sign in the box with my finger. And I scribble um, Me? Uh, just something that says like poop. S poop. <laughs> but it with an R and a K. <laughs> okay. All right. Make a fast talk check. Okay. I have a, I have a 30 and 
A 35, and I rolled a 75. Wow. Yeah. Um, you, it, it's smeared and illegible, but the, the person behind the glass picks up the data pad, looks at you, looks at the data pad, looks at you, looks at the data pad. We had bad landing. Hands you, no good. When did you grow a mustache? I about three two moons ago. I do you like huh. and I and I roll. It is uh, is for the wife. She like a little bit of tickle downstairs. Oh, for the wife. Yeah. Okay. Mhm. Mm Meet me off the quarter deck. 2100 ships time. We have some catching up to do. Okay. Next. I'll make my way back to the ship. Or head to the where he wants me to go. I'll go to the ship first. Yeah. I'll go, yep. I'll go back to the ship. And hop on. Uh, <clears throat> sweating bullets. I've wiped my brow and uh, stand firm and walk up super confident. <laughs> well, okay. Nailed it. I couldn't have been more perfect. My accent was the perfect. Perfection. I'm believing Perfection. that he, <laughs> he bought it and we are in. He wants me to meet him at 21 hours. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, <laughs> nonsense. It is fine. Um, we will uh, uh, do this meeting and be off on our way. Uh, can I... I got a bad feeling about that. Can I check the... Like, is there a record log on the ship and see how often this ship has docked at this station? Sure. Yeah, it, it, it's a fairly... It's a regular stop. On the Charlie Horse's merchanting route. Fuck. All right. Well. Uh, are you I how guess. dig how 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 deeply are you trying to dig? When I see that this is a regular stop, I'm gonna try to dig a little deeper. Actually, no. I'm gonna call Merlin over and ask if he can dig a little deeper. Okay. I know where my strengths lie, and this is not <laughs> there. Merlin, go ahead and uh, no, you're, you're tapping, tippy tapping around. You decide to get, and uh, it's very easy to cross reference the captain's log into this if you'd like. Yeah, I can definitely do that. Okay. You'll notice it, the captain's log does mention it lists all the times they've stopped and uh, the, the various cargoes that they've sold or offloaded or taken on at, the, at this station. And uh, there are some bits labeled confidential, however. Okay. Um, is that not immediately accessible to me? Do I need it to... It is not. You will need to make a technical skill roll to, okay. it, to break the encryption. Cool. That's a no-go. I rolled a 90. Yeah, you... You have no idea. You can't. There's, it, yeah, there's, there's something not clicking. You might, might be using some algorithm with which you're not familiar. Usually you'd be able to hack this pretty easily, but this one's just beyond you for now. But yeah, the, the point is that the Charlie horse comes here often. When was the last time that it was here? Somebody roll 2d6. Yeah. I don't feel Six. like yeeting into the other room. For, oh, yeah, that many days ago. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Google Google has a dice roll. What the fuck am I doing? This is true. Um, <clears throat> so six days ago. 
Um, is this where they picked up the nickel that we have on board? Negative. Okay. Okay. So they we picked that up. That was loaded on the station from which you escaped. Gotcha. So we're not running into that bullshit where someone's like, why are you returning the nickel you just bought? Yeah, that, that is fairly evident. Yeah. Six okay. days is not a lot of time to grow a mustache. This is true. Yeah, there's all kinds of medical science shit. It's the future. I'm, I'm sorry, James, I missed that. <laughs> Maybe he used bro game. <laughs> yeah. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I, don't have a, I don't have a comb over. I have a comb toward the front. Hey, I got. Yeah. I got to start. <laughs> Um, mine is mine is fading backward to join up with what's creeping up from my back. Um, ladies, right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I am going to um, uh, take what info I need uh, on our cargo, and I'm going to head to deck seven B and see if I can get this offloaded. Okay. Um, Anybody else? Uh, I was going to say, before I leave, I'm going to check in and be like, what the hell are our long-term plans here? Because I could try to flip this and just fix up this ship, and then we get the hell out of here and figure out what's going on from there. I could try to hustle some really cheap cargo and uh, try to sell it at the next station we're at. Like, what what are our goals here? What's the plan? Other than just get get the hell away from the last station. Well, uh, the check-in man told me to meet him somewhere on the back docks at the 2100. So uh, either we do what we need to do before then and take off, or then uh, we uh, I go meet this guy and see what he wants. Merlin definitely votes we don't try to meet with this guy. There's There's... Too little information we have on what's happened in the previous one or over the last six days. I don't like this at all. I yeah, tend I'm to grabbing, agree. I'm grabbing tools and going to go fix the ship. Okay. <laughs> um, I will look to see if there's any sort of device that has a time reading on it to give to show what time it is right now 1800 okay so we have uh my math is if my math is correct then we have three hours three hours is not a lot of time nope uh we'll, we'll do we'll do what we can you may have to just figure this out hmm well, I am prepared to do the talking with the mysterious man that wants me to meet him in a mysterious location at a mysterious time, if need be. Um, Sentry, did the... Uh... Is he gone already? <laughs> Repairing the no, ship? No, not yet. He didn't say so. He's gra he grabbed his tools. How quick can you... Uh... Have this thing up and running and repaired? It depends on how much you want to, you know, blow up. Hmm. Well, I can tell you uh, on a personal vote, I 100% would not like to blow up. <laughs> but that is just me. I don't know about these other guys. They may be a little more adventurous than me. But I prefer not to be floating in space with nowhere. Guys, I think we... Wrong. I also value this mustache <laughs> very much. I definitely think we need a backup plan if this meeting goes south. That's what I'm working on. I think. What exactly do you want to do, Sentry? Um, I Sentry is going to try to figure out what is making this thing clunk as it goes. You know, ah. since we're, you know, since the controls are becoming so sluggish. Um, something got knocked loose, so I'm gonna go and start doing, you know, run diagnostics, do whatever needs to be done, and then try to fix it. 
The diagnostics will take about an hour to go through all the ship systems, all the helm systems. Um, and then what the time it'll take for you to repair what the diagnostics say needs repairing is, yeah, you won't know for at least an hour. Hmm. Um, are, do you wish to begin the diagnostic process? Oh, yeah. Okay. You have fired that up. Merlin, what are you doing? Uh, I'm actually trying to see if I can assist um, a system with the diagnostics. If there's anything, like in the systems I can notice, is anything alarming anywhere? Uh, just roll, tell one uh, in the right direction. Pull your technical skill. All right. I rolled a 10. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I cannot speak today. Jesus Christ. Um, Merlin, you start working your technological magic, your fingers dancing over the keyboard almost as fast with five per hand as centuries, many more than five per hand. And uh, you arrive at the problem relatively quickly. And there is a misalignment in one of the control surfaces, actually within the cockpit desk, you know, the console that Sentry uses to control the ship. So it should only take you about an hour's worth of time to fix it, and there will be no problem at all fixing it if both of you are working on it. I'm not even gonna bother to make you roll. Hey, Bob, you're yeah. getting really fuzzy. Like, your mic's- Am I? Yeah, it's yeah, really- it's been, for the past 20 minutes, just static. Shit. Yeah, it, but it, it's getting it's getting worse. <laughs> yeah, they, I can't tell you because all my connections here are solid. It's got to be my internet. Yeah, try if you're watching the stream, just try closing that. Maybe any anything yeah. to slow down the uh, yeah the data and, yeah. bandwidth. Thing. Yeah, maybe yeah. try maybe try muting your mic quick and then unmuting it. Sometimes that clears it out. <laughs> How about now? Nah, it's still the same. Still we'll, there. We'll just have to deal with it. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I got nothing, guys. I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, it's not good. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Was, was there anything unintelligible? No, I, I got it all. Yeah, it's okay. we can hear it. It's just scratch. The audio quality is shit. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Sorry. We'll deal with it. We'll do it. Fine. Um, what I could do in future is record my end. And then, uh, because I'm hearing things straight out of the my interface, <laughs> so yeah. I can't hear anything that's going wrong. Yeah. But I can record my end, which is going to have clean audio, which you could dump it then, whenever, whatever, you, whatever you're using to do, like, YouTube videos, Chris, you right. could just sync them up. Yeah, true. If you want. It's possible. Um, could do it. Yeah, there's a reason why they're really, that most podcasters will be running, like, three or four computers. Yeah. Because they're, they're doing discrete audio downloads. Anyway, it's nuts. I don't know how they do it. Yeah. Anyway. Right. So the Techno Busy Boys are working on the Charlie horse. Uh, bird, let's go and see how we do offloading this nickel ore. Area 7B in engineering is a clearinghouse for the uh, people who are looking to buy stuff and people who are looking to sell bulk, sell stuff, bulk cargoes. Gotcha. There's like, it's kind of like the stock exchange. There are big tickers up, big, big uh, uh, monitors on the wall that have, you know, what people are looking for and what people are looking to get rid of. And gotcha. there are a couple, there are a couple of people in space station staff coveralls hovering around <laughs> with data pads. Gotcha. Um, so, um, would I have like the amount of nickel ore that we had? Yes. Okay. And um, uh, what's it look? Uh, what is? Would I be able to like look through what's being traded and see what the going rate is, if I don't already know it? Sure. Um, the rate isn't really done in credits for bulk cargoes like this, it's more done on uh, uh, in-kind. 
So okay. like someone who someone who uh, has nickel but needs water. Yeah. You know, connects with someone who has water but wants nickel. Gotcha. All right. Um, so just running through my head, it looks like we're going to need some water for our trip. Um, okay. Uh, would we be able to trade uh, nickel for, like, transfer? Like, pay the cost of our jump at all? Unfortunately, no. That's okay. cash only. There gotcha. is, however, a you see on the board that there is one seller who's looking for nickel who has water. Okay. And that's only that that only accounts for maybe twenty five percent of your total cargo and nickel ore. Okay. And there there is another seller who has just the right amount wants that nickel ore, but has instead chickens. Okay. Is live cargo something that we have like the facilities for? Or is Maybe. this uh, pull pull up my overalls and um I imagine live cargo is fairly valuable and we're it only really going is. Yeah, and we're only going a system over, so it seems like That's... a good idea. Yeah, that's why it, it is. Yeah, they, they, they only want to get the chickens to Akiri. Yeah. Yeah, that seems like a pretty good deal. Um, and it's not a lot of chickens. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that seems like a good idea. Let's stock stock up on some water and some some chickens here. How do chickens survive? Like, how does live cargo survive, like, jump travel? The, fun, the funny thing is, animals don't really seem to notice. Okay. It must be something with consciousness and sentience. There are all kinds of, you know, big brains. Gotcha. Talk about this on, you know, big brain sort of um, programs on the various broadcasting sources that you have <laughs> oh, all I'm imagining is like a wheel of time thing where like horses have to be tranquilized like yeah. any kind of like more sentient animal that doesn't show up in the dreams <laughs> no it's, it, you know the, the people um, transfer live livestock as cargo all the time and gotcha. for some reason the livestock never seems to be come bothered. out the worst for wear yeah gotcha yeah uh, let's get this traded up all right. Um, Century in Merlin. You're work your armpit deep in cables and you know daughter board cards and stuff like that. And there is a from the uh, "Hello, can I come aboard?" indicator at the bottom of the cargo ramp. And uh, looking at the the viewfinder shows a, a man wheeling a, a grav cart. It's on kind of suspensors um, that has a bollard of 500 liters of water. And another group of workers in space station coveralls wheeling pallet after pallet of crates holding live chickens. And a man, uh -huh. the man with the water holds the clipboard and to the, the, the viewfinder camera says, I'm supposed to deliver this. Yeah, okay, hold on here for a second. Yeah. Reach up on reach up over, just sort of start whacking buttons. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, they start the, the man with the water ball are, uh, drains it into the ship's onboard tanks and uh, the, the other crew members with the chicken crates um, just kind of unceremoniously deposit these furiously squawking birds <laughs> in the middle of your cargo hold. They will need to be secured before you take off again. <laughs> uh, Berg, was there anything else you wanted to do? Um, I was going to say, is there any way to like negotiate this to get us a slightly better deal or something? But uh, I'm mostly looking for a fast turnaround time. Um, I don't know, see if there's a way to sweeten it up with some a few make, extra goodies. You'll make 1500 on the delivery 
of the birds. Gotcha. To Akiri. Okay, so this is like we're trading the ore and this is a delivery mission more than like yep. Okay. Yeah, you're you're okay. not actually buying this cargo. You're you're uh, you, you're you're um, delivering it to a buy, delivering the livestock to a buyer on Akira. Gotcha. That works. Um, and one that, credit per chicken. Gotcha. Uh, that cleared out our ore then. So yes. we're okay. Yes. Yes. Or the ore is cleared out. Um, let's see. We're spending ten k on fuel we're spending 250 on like docking fees and whatnot yep. how much is the jump fee 750 750 so we're at about 11k so we've got 22k left um uh, i don't know gonna look around and see if i can find uh i is there things that can be bought like cargo wise on credit here or is it mostly Not not particularly, though there are passengers looking for um, looking for berths. So, what kind of take on. what kind of uh, uh, what kind of space do we have in this thing to like? You can carry. I mean, given the U four, yeah, you can. Uh, there are. There's the captain's cabin. And there are crew cabins that are double. They're like basically bunk, like what I was describing to Chris yeah. for the captain's cabin, but with bunk beds. Gotcha. Um, there are three cabins like that. And then there are two um, suites. Not really suites. There are two uh, guest cabins that share a head that can sleep four, two in each guest cabin all four will have to share the same head okay um and this is just gonna for us it's just gonna be a short trip over to uh to Akuri. um i guess i'll i'll check and see if there's anyone looking to do a short trip over to Akuri. yeah there are a couple okay i don't want to commit to longer voyages right now until we figure out what the hell we're even doing but I figure, sure. yeah, set up a couple people to make a quick jump with us is fine. Okay. What uh, what are you charging? I figure, um, can I figure out what a good rate would be? Like what I've I've seen paid in the past. I figure, yeah. I figure like the jump fee alone is seven fifty, so probably at least a thousand. But I don't know. Yeah, the the well, the jump fee is seven fifty for a ship of your of our size. Yeah, yeah, your size. Okay. So I mean, you've seen you've seen fares go depending on the the luxuriousness of the accommodations. You've seen fares go from anything from as little as you know a hundred credits up to five six hundred just for a single node jump. Gotcha. Um, how many people were, were was I able to find? Because. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Google Dice Roller. You were able to find. Well, oh, that D4 rolled well for you. Four. Okay. Um. I mean, we've got enough facilities to basically give everyone their own room because it is just a short jump. So, I'd say three fifty for or, all of no, them. Actually, uh, yeah, for the four of them, like if everyone's willing to do a, a like a group discount, say four fifty for the group. Okay, yeah, they're, they're a group of religious pilgrims on oh the way to Akuri. So okay. we've just become Space Uber? <laughs> Look, we're, we're already on our way there. We might as well make a couple extra credits on the way. Try to keep this piece of shit sustained so that we can get further <laughs> away. And uh, hopefully at some point cut our losses, maybe figure out who the hell is going where. We'll figure it out, but yeah. Um, okay. Um, do they have a time frame of when they want to leave? I, as soon as soon as possible. The, although we can be, we have patience. After all, the giant head has been there since time immemorial. All right, I. 
All right. You, you, you have heard about this. There is a weird cult that believes, that believed for generations that there was the head, the giant head of a slain god in orbit around a planet somewhere in this galaxy. And then about 20 years ago, about 20 standard years ago, they found it. Circling Akuri. Okay. Giant goddess head the size of the moon. All right, so. I'm going to time out the stream here for a second. Um, are you guys okay to take a technical difficulty, like a three-minute break, so we can reset the Zoom meeting and uh, see if we can get better audio out of here? Because it's starting to get worse, and it's already been bad. Yeah. Shit. Previously on the Final Horizon. <laughs> need to get to a ship. Wow, you a big one, ain't you? I pull a card out of my top pocket and hand it over, and it's a procedure of, yes, I am tall, I am this tall, the weather is nice, all of that. <laughs> Immediately uh, takes notice of the shiny, tiny man that goes prancing out of his cell. This is the first roll of the game, guys. What are you doing out of your cells? Stop right there! I'm going to make a mad dash straight at them. Um, and at the last minute, at the last moment, slide under and through their legs. If we can get to one of the control rooms, that I can change this system for. Yes, in a minute. Does that thing have to come with us? No! <laughs> Yins are crazy. Emergency. There's an emergency going on. To get out of here, we have to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's got engines on, I can fly it, yeah. We can pile into the big guy and get our asses out of here and figure the rest out later. Get on board, strap in, shut up. You head out through that force field into the blackness of deep space. That is going to make it easier to find you. Barreling out of the um, cargo bay that you just came out of, two of those small little fighter watches. Ah, Au revoir. The final horizon, that's what humans called space. They'd explored their own, knew everything about it. Then they stopped looking down and started looking up. Their first toiling steps in space led to worlds close to them. They sent people to places like Earth's moon, Mars, Ganymede, Titan. They sent instruments into the void, searching for other places to explore. For years, the probes found nothing. Then long after Earth became a footnote in history's books referring to the war that turned it into radioactive slag, the probes found a node, which led to other nodes, which led to 1397 Pegasi. The final horizon is a lot bigger than we thought. An infinite number of worlds, a universe where humans aren't the only creatures that talk and think like and explore. This is the final horizon. So, um, tried to fix some stuff, but stuff not on our side today, so we will deal with it and keep pushing on. And I will let you guys, uh, to it. Right. So, we were talking to Bird. Bird had secured some religious pilgrims who were headed to the giant goddess's head orbiting around the planet where you're going. Mm-hmm. And what, were you planning to do anything else, Bird? Uh, 
I don't. I don't think at this point. Yeah, because I've, I've got I've gotten basically all the supplies I can get, um, and I don't want to stock on too much more until we know what the hell we're doing as a group. So. Okay. Uh, I, I'd be heading back. I would I would I would have arranged with uh, yeah these guys to just meet meet at the ship uh, whenever they're ready. Uh, get their quarters set up for how for you know however long we're gonna be on the ship together and move from there. Yeah, barely a day. Yeah, like the the jump will take literally no time at all. It's kind of in the nature of the thing. Yeah, because the the nexus is right over there, <laughs> and the uh, it'll take you a little bit of, a little while in uh, to you know, successfully find. The giant goddess's head and drop your passengers off but that's just like a day's worth of travel so gotcha right then um yeah we'll just assume that bird you head back to the ship and help uh, uh, help merlin and sentry secure the chickens and um yeah so we're getting on to about 2100 now okay uh, i would look I would be looking around to see if I can find, this is a stretch, but uh, to find the gadget that uh, Oscar wears to um, speak in GIF, his, his second language. Um, it's like a little, kind of like a little wrist computer type thing with a 3D, uh -huh. three-dimensional screen displays. Well, this uh, belongs to Oscar, right? Hmm. This belongs to Oscar. Yeah, it was it was his, but um, I personally don't remember if he had it on him went during the escape or not. Sure. Okay. All right. Then he's just tapping on it to make sure it works. Yep. It okay. is still functional. Okay. All right. Sounds good. I will check with the crew and uh, uh, I, I look at the time. It says. Uh, quarter of, ten of, something like that. So, um, I tell the crew, hey, I look like a, um, it is time for the final finale of Oscar Pel Pia Pelletier. I will go meet uh, our friend in the mysterious location at a mysterious time. And if I do not return, then blow this fucking place up. <laughs> Tragic, truly. Oh my god. Um, as as Oscar leaves, I turned to everyone else and like two questions. One, do we really have to wait until he's back? And two, if he doesn't come back, do we really care? Uh, I guess. How does that feel, channel host? How does that feel? He looks. He looks like the captain. We can use him. Never mind, just musing. As I'm walking off, I heard every fucking thing this you see. <laughs> <laughs> I expected more from you, big guy. I don't know what I expect from you. My heart is broken. <laughs> broken! I'll tell you that something else broken soon. So, it takes you not long at all, Oscar, to arrive at the bar and discotheque on the promenade called the quarter deck mm -hmm. and uh, you see the uh, person to whom you were speaking standing yeah. next to the bar All right. music is very much you know it's it's a discotheque and trendy sort of bar and there are creatures of all species all shapes and sizes doing their level best to pair off and at least attempt to procreate alright I look for uh a ta like a tablecloth, 
like a white tablecloth, say like the type you put on your lap if you're dining fancy or something like that. Something that I can uh, grab. A napkin? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. What am I saying? Tablecloth. Uh, uh, yeah. Never go. Oh, napkin. I was confused. A napkin and a glass of red wine I'm looking for. Yes. Yeah. Well, the, 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 you don't see anything just sitting out there. Mm hmm. I mean, there, but there, there is a bar and a bartender, and there are bottles. Okay, uh, I go up to the bartender real quick. I say, uh, I have a glass of your mm, your cheapest wine. All right. Plunks down a plastic solo cup. Okay. Pulls I... up a pulls up a box <laughs> and looks you dead in the eye as he pushes a little plunger. Okay. And he, he punches the numbers into the data pad and holds it out for you to wiggle your finger at it. Okay. Sign it. And I say, uh, that's this good? Yes, I'm sure it is. You need anything else, let me know. Okay, bye. Okay. He turns yep. around and goes back to the end of the bar. I head my way and uh, I dip off somewhere a little secluded before I go meet the guy. And I take the wine and I dump it on the, the uh, napkin napkin, and wrap it around my neck and try to make it look kind of like a blood spot. And uh, I just kind of hold it there with a little bit of the wine exposing and I go forward to walk up to the guy. Make a disguise check. Okay. <sighs> Fuck you! I have a 20 and I rolled a 38. Okay. Uh, you approach the uh, the lanky man, mm -hmm. still in his station staff coveralls, leaning against the other end of the bar. And uh, he looks at you. What happened to you? Uh, uh, and and I uh, I plug in a uh, gif of an image of a guy falling on a ship. And, and I just hold it up to him, and it, just like oh. this little hologram. <laughs> oh, I see. All right, make a fast talk roll, but a hard fast talk roll because you failed your disguise roll. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, I rolled a seven. Is that a success? What's your fast talk? Thirty. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. 007, buddy. <laughs> All right. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um. Oh, I'm so sorry, honey. Here, let me see. I called it. Nine. <laughs> nine. 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 Whisper. Oh, oh. Maybe I'm so sorry. Am I getting the idea that I'm his love interest? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I... You okay. Didn't, you didn't turn the photograph around. Yeah. Shit. Shit. <laughs> um, I, right. I leave these seeds. I leave these clues <laughs> and seeds. I, you have I to interact will... with them to actually find out. I will roll well, with it. Okay. And he, he, he puts his arm around you. I put Why my head on so his shoulder. Why are you so tense? Oh, come here. And did you get shorter? <laughs> I just whisper. <laughs> oh. Oh, sweetie. Sweetie, you, you don't have to pretend anymore. It's fine. I type I, in a, a sad emoji, crying. You, you can you can turn it off and stop the faking. It's fine, I promise. You're not Rupert. <laughs> Do I recognize this person? No. Okay. Um, then I will just Rupert, look at him. Rupert was the captain that you're pretending to be. Yeah. I'm yeah. not Rupert. Shit. Okay. You, uh, you, got so, you got so method, so deep into this role, you forgot you really weren't. Wow. Yeah. I'm 
Not Ruben. Wow, <laughs> that's, a, that's a Johnny Depp moment I, right I there, look man. at him and I, I just go, if, if I'm not me, then, then who the hell am I? I don't know, but we have to work on your subterfuge because this is just not no i throw the napkin on the floor god damn it (laughs) It, it's fine it's uh, who are you and why do you have rupert's ship where is rupert Uh, rupert he lended me the ship and uh, an old favor for an old friend and we are transporting, unloading some nickel, getting some repairs, and getting the hell out of here. All right. <laughs> Make that fast talk check again. Seeing as how you're lying. 37 over 30. Mm. Mm. I, you see, I, I don't believe that. I don't believe Rupert worked too long and too hard to get the Charlie horse to just loan it to someone. Now, you're going to have to tell me the truth, or I'm going to have to call the cops. Okay, fine, you got me. I am not the world's best liar. Uh, We are... I grab him. We are on a mission to save Akiri, and we have to get there immediately. It is... I cannot have any interruptions. It is a secret mission. You can't let anybody know. You can come with us if you want, but it is a mission that I will die trying to save Akiri. (laughs) And I close my eyes and look down. Make an easy fast talk roll. Four. Nice. And it, a secret mission. It is of the most secrets of secrets. And there is much reward. Then, then you should go at once. I should. But why did you call me here? Because I wanted to find out why you were trying to impersonate Rupert? Oh. I mean, really. You're a foot and a half shorter than he is. And that, the soup strainer. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Have you ever heard of improv? You don't improv a mustache in five or six days. You don't know that. I could have possibly used the bro game you've never heard of. Bro game? <laughs> I've got a stronger bro game than you will ever have. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I don't know what that means. It just... <laughs> now you know my secret. Mm-hmm. I must depart. All right. And you see Rupert again when all this super secret mission stuff is over? Mm hmm. Tell him Jimmy's asking for him and sends his love. Is you are not going to cause the authorities on me? I should, but I'm not gonna. And I, I look at him and I, I do a little news story about that. What are you trying to say, Shorty? No, no, no. I am just saying you are a very nice person. It is very appreciated, and I give him a wink and blow him a kiss, and I start running. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea how that was going to play out. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> yep, I run back to the ship. Uh, well, casually stroll through the club. Saunter vaguely through the club. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, make a luck roll. Okay. Fuck it. Luck is on my side. That is a 15 under 60. 
Yeah, you managed to avoid the clutches of a, a group of raving young people, waving glow sticks and stuff. The urge to join them is very tempting, um, but I proceed. You make it back to the ship without issue. Okay. Um, in the hold of the ship is stack after stack after stack of cages full of very, 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 very angry chickens. What the shit is this? Oh, Why yeah, are we bringing such a cons? They smell very bad. Oh, this thing's so bad. Why? Who brought the chickens? When do we have chickens? This is uh, I'm, ridiculous. I'm just like looking, flipping through a data pad, and I'm just like, uh, we traded our ore for these chickens. We're delivering them to a destination on uh, Ocury. I also picked up four passengers, knitted us another 450 credits. This should uh, increase our profit margin by about. 35% off that ore compared to just trading it. I also restocked us on water. So you're welcome. Uh, I As as I'm stomping up board, the, the sleeves come undone, like duct tape hanging. <laughs> and uh, I, I don't realize it, but uh, I go, Your Captain Rupert Kershweiger demands to know who's decision making this fuzz up on overseeing your Captain why you would do such a thing? Nine. It is at this point that um, bald-headed humans in gray robes kind of knock on the cargo bay bulkhead. This, this is the Charlie horse, is it not? No, 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 no. Who did this? Who invited all the fucking monks? Welcome to the Charlie Horse. And I direct them to uh, a bunch of rooms. Don't mind the captain. He's in a he's in a bit of a uh, a mood. Finally, brothers, our passage to the giant goddess's head. Giant goddess is it? What the? F I look at Mer and what the fuck did you guys do? Oh shit! I got I have you guys on different cameras. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> God yeah, Kevin, Ke Kevin put that in chat about 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Good old <laughs> me. All right. I think if people are just tuning into the stream, they'll understand. Yeah. It's a mess <laughs> today. We've been hit with a netty one. I I don't think people will mind too much. No. no. Episode two, are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> The Zoom does not like me today. Right, so, um, as, as everyone sort of gets logged in and uh, settled, um, I'm guessing by now the uh, the repairs have been made to the console oh, and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, okay. yeah, ages ago, ages ago. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna settle in uh, and just be like, "All right, we got a little time. When's uh?" We should probably get in line for the jump. We've got uh, how many uh, jumps are in front of us? Just one. Just one? Okay. Only one, yeah. We should probably get ready for our jump. We don't have a whole lot of time to wait. How'd your meeting go? You're still alive, so clearly not that terrible. It went perfect. With perfection, of course. Why would it go any other way? I don't even know why you're asking. Um, what what skill is it to detect bullshit? <laughs> ah, insight, insight. It, it, I, I would prefer it if we didn't make skill checks against yeah. one no, another. I, but... No, I know. <laughs> uh, no, nothing. I just I just want to know if see. See how, uh, yeah. No, I just, I, I, ha I don't quite believe you. Because partially because you're being very reasonable, and you're not reasonable when you. <laughs> wow. 
I don't know what's worse. Is there a is there like a chair or something like a box that I can move up to her? Yeah. All right. I take I take a fold up chair, put it on him, step up to him, and slap him in the face. How dare you insult my humanity? I told you the truth, and the truth is what I am. Humph! And I step down off the chair. I still won't believe him, but he's he's alive, and we're able to leave, so I'm gonna go with everything went okay. Perfect, maybe not. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, um, yeah, I'm just gonna settle in and be, and let everyone and be like, so what the fuck are we doing? I got us, I... I traded up our cargo to get us a little, a few more credits on our next jump. But where the hell are we going from here? Here, I, I'm gonna make Come sure. With it, us to the to the giant goddess's head, Candy yeah. Mountain, Charlie. Um, why don't why don't uh, you guys why don't you guys retire retire to your to your quarters? We're very well, brothers. A, yes, we're going to have a small meeting here. Personal business. Um, I'm gonna suggest uh, try to pull everyone into the captain's quarters so we can be a little more private and not have the, the monks walking out in us. So the private quarters? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yep. You, you, you all the four of you can barely fit in there, but yeah, you can you can fit in there. All right. So yeah, but we're. We're a group of four fugitives from the sphere in a stolen ship who just illicitly traded cargo. Where the fuck do we go from here? Maybe if- we go take them to the monks that have chicken place? I don't know. I mean, we're we're at least doing that to uh, up to up our supplies and get our creds. If we're going to try to make this bullshit work any kind of long term, we're going to need to. <sighs> I'm going to try to call up a couple favors because if we're going to do this long term, this bucket of bolts is going to need retrofitted to be renamed because we don't want the paper trail. We're going to need to set up some kind of false manifest or record of our travels. We're going to have some troubles. It might take us a little while. And who are you planning on calling the favor into? I know some people. I've had to, uh... I've had to do a few jobs in the past that required false information and, uh, a little massaging of equipment. Oh, yes. I know all about the uh, having to do small favors for people to get uh, opportunities massaging equipment, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, You sometimes have to get on your knees and get a little dirty in order to get ahead in this lifetime, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) Unfortunately, yes, I do know what you're saying. It is not above me. Actually, a lot of things are above me. I'm very sure. <laughs> Thank you. I was going there if you didn't. <laughs> I think we all were. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, Bob, would I be able to, uh, uh, while we have some time here, uh, try to call up a few contacts from from my from my days? You know, yeah, sure. Work, working under the radar to see sure. if I can get get this ship like into a chop shop and get like the numbers filed off and false papers and things like that yeah as a matter of fact um as i mentioned in the discord in the in the run-up to the nightmare that was last weekend for me yeah um if you want to if you want to what would be very helpful for me is if you could um in the course of the next few the next week before our next session give me three contacts 
three NPC contacts for your characters. Okay. One who likes you, one who doesn't like you, and one who's ambivalent toward you. Gotcha. Names, you know, feel free to come up with the planets or moons or settlements that they're from or space stations. Um, you know, what the relationship is, what you owe them, what they owe you, what you did to piss them off, you know, any, any little details like that that I can lean into, that would be gotcha. great. And hey, GM, the role-playing games, you might happen to be watching this. That's a great thing to do. Let the players write your story for you. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, so for this one, I don't know if this is going to be like, like a really close contact, but just like if it's so, like someone who I've worked with in the past who might be able to set us up with. Yeah. Yeah. I get you. I get it's you. Probably, I imagine it's probably going to burn through a lot of the credits that we currently have. So hopefully, I'll work it out. Yeah. Hopefully what we're able to do and uh, yeah, get trade out. up I'll here. Work, I'll work it out in the meantime. I still gotcha. owe you guys a you know a ship map and you know some basic star charts and all that anyhow. So I'll get that out to you on the Discord as well. Cool. So excited. So excited. Yes. That is a good place to wrap as far as I'm concerned. You've yeah. got your you've got your passengers, you've got your you've you've done all your deals at this station. It's just a matter of making the jump. And you've got your updated star charts, so you don't even need to roll for that. You just make it it just happens. Very nice. And then yeah, you'll be outside the, you'll be outside the good old-fashioned uh, star system of Akiri, near the giant goddess's head, and we can pick up there next week. Cool. All right. Sounds good. Cool. All right, guys. Uh, well, I guess I'll close it out here. Thanks for watching, everybody who has tuned in. Uh, remember, we are here every or most every. Uh, Sundays at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, which translates to what is that? Uh, four in the afternoon on yeah. on your time, RP. Four, yeah, 4 p.m. for me, which is Amsterdam time. Awesome. Yep. So yeah, we're here, and if you uh, if you like, make sure you hit the follow button, hit the alert button, so you know when we're live. And then you can also go down to our YouTube channel, which is also linked down below, and. Um, catch up on the latest episodes we'll have this episode up later tonight and um yeah uh just tune in and thanks for everything thanks guys for all being a part of the team love you guys and um if there's anything else you guys want to say i'm i am out hi everybody yeah. Yeah.